a capsule of what our, our league was all year. I think I'm, I've been our biggest promoter that our league is so underrated. We've got such a diverse uh, brand of basketball that every night has been a knockdown drag out. I think uh, tonight was just an indication. Omar was the hottest team in our league. Coach Price and his staff have done an unbelievable job of, of flipping their season and my hat goes off to them. Obviously, I have the utmost, re utmost respect for him, being that I sit in his former seat. And I'm very mindful of that. He has a, a big shadow at Lakefront Arena uh, that I fall under him and Coach Floyd, Coach Dees, Coach Green, a lot of guys that were there before me. So, But tonight was a great win for our city. It was a great win for our faculty, our students, our staff, our university and our alumni. And more than anything, Tonight was a testament to what our team is. Uh, they're blue collar, they're very tough. I think you look at our defensive numbers all year and the last possession, the defensive stop we got was a clear indication of who we are. Uh, we're not pretty, we're not the most athletic, uh, but dang, we play hard. And they play for each other, they love each other. Uh, they're really, really good student athletes. And I may be the luckiest guy on the earth to be able to coach them. Okay, questions for student athletes, and we'll start with Brandon. Brandon Williams, Southland.org. Bryson, uh, run us through uh, the moments leading up to your go ahead three. Um, we, we called a play initially to get it inside to our big Scott, and he's been working, he's working hard this game, and I feel like he deserved it. So once that broke down, it came back out to me, and I looked at the, I looked at the shot, I looked at the shot clock, and I just figured. <coughs> I'm going to take it in my hands. I wish right. I could have said I drew it up like that. <laughs> Kamal. Kamal Jones, Garage Apartment Media. Bryson, uh, your counterpart uh, had 28 points, but at the very at the tail end of the game, he was coming up short with the shots. What were you doing or trying to do to make his shots difficult and for him to miss? I I'm not even going to say that it was just me. Um, it was us as a whole team, not not even just me or just the man who was guarding him. It's us as a whole team. We we put a lot of pressure on him, and he he made he made a couple of tough buckets. But at the end, down the stretch, we we made plays and stopped him. Wow. Well, Jones, uh, Garage Park Media, Scott, you played a big part uh, in shutting down the big man in the middle. What were you? What was your concerted effort, and what was the coach telling you to do to to win that battle? Um, I just watched Scout. We were here the day before watching the game. I was just looking at his tendencies and seeing weaknesses, strengths, and I was playing to his weaknesses. So he's a great player. Much respect, and just a good game. Here's that. Uh, I'm just going to come off. I'm Darren Jones, Garage Department Media. Uh, Scott, you were uh, very efficient tonight. Uh, what was it that you were feeling? What were, what were you able to do <coughs> to make sure that you were uh, able to get good shots and, and, and be efficient from the field? Um, well, first off, my guards just do a great job of giving me the ball. And secondly, I feel like I'm a versatile player. So if you take one aspect of my game, out, out of the other end. So. It was just a matter of playing to my strengths, and uh, they wanted to guard it. They wanted to uh, sag off inside, so I left the jumper open. Okay. I see Morel Porter of the News, Coach uh, Lessinger. Uh, you lost your from uh, from an article that I read. You lost your uh, leading scorer and rebounder during a uh, uh, practice injury on February 12th. <coughs> well, yeah, how has this team really kind of rallied uh, since the injury? You know, the, I said at the beginning of the, the season, I really believed with all my heart that the MVP of our team was our team. And I thought that there was lots of people throughout the season that were going to step up uh, and make tremendous plays to help us lead us to a championship. You know, the game at uh, Lamar, Ty, uh, Tyron Harrison, a senior forward force, made a, a three that won us the game, and he didn't play tonight. Uh, Rosa didn't play uh, at that game, and he's a starter for us now. Uh, so losing Ezekiel, who has been you know, our most complete player uh, on, on a lot of given nights uh, was tough, but, you know, a testament to his attitude and how much, how good a kid he is and how good a leader he is. Um, 
the very next morning tears his Achilles on a, on, on a Tuesday morning practice and he's back in the gym on Wednesday morning and he's leading and he set the example of what's acceptable and what the standard is in our program and what our culture is and you know guys graduate but our culture doesn't and I think two years ago I think you saw us go to the NC tournament and you see you know we've got the second most wins of any school in our conference over a three year period and so we've had guys graduate Scott and Bryson are the only two guys uh, in Georgia, the only three guys left on our NCAA tournament team. So guys have graduated, but our culture has it, and that's a, a, a tribute to all the guys that came before. But I think Ezekiel is a great example that he set uh, the culture for the next several years with how he's approached his injury, what his attitude has been, and then what the, the expectation is for his teammates to step up and play at, at enormously high levels. And we'll have one more question for the student athletes. Let's hold it to them until we. And this will be the last question for the student athletes. Uh, Bryson, uh, of course, you were playing against your old high school teammate. How much motivation was that for you to to uh, make sure that you you got the job done tonight? Uh, it, was, it was a lot of motivation. Last night, our high school coach texted both of us in a group message and was like, "I'm rooting for both of y'all. I just I just want y'all to play as hard as y'all can." And I told him, "I'm I'm gonna play hard. I'm, I'm gonna come at you." So it was a lot of motivation, and I just I just want to win. This is, that's just me. I just want to win. Okay, guys, we'll let y'all go and get ready for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we we'll have questions for Mark, Brandon. Coach, uh, talk about the composure of the team. You know, numerous times, especially the fourteen, uh, the fourteen over run at twelve, the end and a half. And also, when it seemed like you, know, you guys were pulling away in the second half, they just kept coming back. Uh, talk about the composure of the team despite those two runs. They, you know, I, I, fought, I fought myself several times in the end of the first half to not use timeouts, not burn them. Um, I thought we need them at the end. Every time we play each other, it seems like it comes down to this type of game. And the same thing happened at, at, at their place. We had a, a double-digit lead at the four-minute media. They ended up making a big run to come back. I was obviously disappointed with our level of execution at the end of the first half, but the guys kept their calm. Uh, our halftime was, was I think, as calm and direct. You guys might might be able to validate that. I sat on the, I sat on the cooler and talked. I didn't draw one thing up the whole halftime, um, and we just talked, and we talked about what, our, what we had to do to, to stop them. But I think, I think we've had a, you know, a, a mentality that sometimes bad things are going to happen in the course of games, are going to happen in our lives, and in preparation, trying to get these guys ready for life. You know, when something bad happens, you got to just say, good, it's going to force us to problem solve. It's going to force us to, to come closer as a team. And I think what you saw, the way we managed the end of the first half allowed us the composure to, to win the second half. And they problem solved. And I think that was the thing that I heard the guys talking about was, like, man, we figured some stuff out and we problem solved. And, you know, as a coach, I think that's the, the greatest compliment. The, the, guys, the guys, we had the timeout and... The guys made a couple calls where I, I came in and I said, hey, what do you guys think about this? And they came back uh, with a counter and said, we think this will work. And when that type of information exchange happens in crucial situations and you end up falling to the level of your training, uh, instead of it, it rising up to something, you fall to the level of your training, that's, a, that's, that's them. That's how good they are and that's how, how good their leadership is uh, from within. Come on. Uh, coach. Uh the two seniors stepped up pretty big this uh, this game. Can you speak on how they kept the team composed or fired the team up today and how that is going to help later down the line in this tournament? Yeah, I mean, we got we got as tough a team as we're going to have tomorrow. Um, Sam Houston's really good. Uh, our seniors have to have composure. They have to lead us from the front. Uh, I told them early on, I thought we had, we had two good scrimmages early in the year, and this is going back to September, October, we scrimmaged Alcorn State, and we scrimmaged uh, Southern Miss, and we, were, we, were, we, played, we played okay. And I told them early on, if I end up leading this team throughout the year, we'll be okay. If you guys ever figure out how to lead this team, we'll be a championship level team. And tonight was a huge step forward for us to figure out how they lead the team. And I think, I, I didn't have to do tons of coaching. They did a lot of coaching amongst, amongst, amongst each other, and they problem solved a lot of things tonight uh, that made me really proud. And, and I know everybody internally in our unit 
that, that makes up our athletic department uh, that is around these guys every day from our academics to our university president to, to our athletic director. Um, they got to see these guys grow up tonight even more than they had before. And that's a, that's a great testament to their leadership. Okay, we'll have one time for one more question for, for Mark. If anybody wants to give it, if not, okay, Brandon, this will be it. Uh, thoughts on uh, facing Sam Houston State tomorrow? Yeah, I mean it's it's uh, I think it's what we what we've been waiting for. I think they've been uh, the class of the league all year. Coach Houston has done a phenomenal job in in, in leading them to a championship season. Um, their team, they've got the player of the year in the league. Uh, they beat us on our home court. I think our guys are very clear on what that what the, the expectation is for us, and they're in the way of us getting to what we inevitably want, which is an opportunity to go back to the NCAA tournament. And we're going to have to play a very very complete game and be very very good in all aspects to be able to beat them. Uh, but I've got supreme confidence in our team and in our staff that they'll prepare them and have an incredible game plan. Uh, but more importantly. I said this earlier, this week is a celebration, and it's a celebration for our student athletes uh, that have worked since June 2nd. This group has worked together since June 2nd, uh, and they need to enjoy this. This is, a, this is the moment that they've worked for their whole life. I think we saw that on very clear display today. Bryson streamed to that shot a lot of times in his life, and to see it happen uh, was big. Scott streamed to these moments many times in his life, and for them to come to fruition, um, it's really big. Larry Robinson, all the guys that contributed tonight. Um, it's a big night for, for privateers, a big night for New Orleans, and a big night for our university. And tomorrow we expect even bigger things. Thanks, Mark. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweet, photos, videos, hashtags. Let me share some real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.